Craig says he wants to save his marriage. Craig, what's going on? Well, I got to say, Jerry, uh, uh, we, we've had our problems in the past. Uh, we had the idea of selling everything that we own so that way we can start fresh. We wanted to get a new house together and have everything that we have together. We earned everything together. Yes. And, uh, well, after we had the yard sale, so where we sold everything. And how much you made? Uh, $6,000. Okay, very nice. Okay, and now what happened? And she took off to Indiana. Oh! Your wife sells everything, gets the $6,000, and takes off without warning? No. Uh, where were you? Well, uh, what happened was she started a fight with me the oh. day before. Oh, and I see. Uh, well, we ended up fighting. She told me to leave. So I went to my parents' house. Oh. And I worked that night. And the next day, I came to my parents' house, fell asleep for a couple hours. And I woke up and I called her up to uh, apologize and try to make things work. Yeah. And she told me that she was already gone and leaving. Oh, wow. So she left. And yeah. now you have nothing, right? Because you sold everything. Well, that was a couple years ago. Oh, oh, that okay. That was a couple years ago. Oh, okay. Uh, I ended up forgiving her yeah. and brought her back. And Oh, so uh, you're back together. Yeah, we're back together now. Oh, good. Okay. And, uh, well, we've been back together now for about two years. Yeah. But now I, I'm starting to feel a distance again. Oh, and no. she's on Facebook all the time and oh. not wanting to spend time with me. Has she announced a new yard sale? Uh, <laughs> no. She, she still does her yard sales every once in a while, yeah. but it's just selling, like, yeah, kids' I, clothes and stuff. Yeah, and... I would be there when she's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so well, let's bring her out, and you're going to make your police, or at least try to get her to explain what the distance is. Yeah. And, yeah. and what, oh, what? And I wanted to say that I'm from Cincinnati, and I'm a very big fan of you. And I, oh, uh, thank and you. And I know that you as the mayor of Cincinnati, and yeah, I really want to shake much. your hand. Well, thank you. Thank you. Probably fixed one of your tickets. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, here is your wife, Nicole. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Well, welcome. So, how... Oh, Our ahead. anniversary is coming up next month. Yes. Yeah. And I made her something. Uh, oh. Uh, it's the 24th big number in our life. Uh, and, yes. Uh, so I wrote down 24 reasons on why I love her. Oh. 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 <laughs> you love my bouncy butt. You what? <laughs> Oh, oh you, he, he likes your bouncy butt. Well, that's very nice. We're down, we're down to twenty-three. You love when I send you Snapchats of me on the toilet. Oh. <laughs> you love that we have pinky tattoos. We have pinky tattoos. She's got a heart on hers, and yeah. I got an infinity this sign on I mine. Love you so I love you forever, pinky Aww. promise. Oh, this is wonderful. I'll just do this one. Yeah. You love scaring the crap out of the kids. <laughs> we scare the, we scare our kids all the time. <laughs> My parents used to do it to me, and I thought it was terrible, but now it's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> What do you want to do tonight, dear? Let's scare the hell out of the kids. We do. We do. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, what do you want to say to her? I want to say that I love you with all my heart, and I'll do anything in the world for you. And I love being a dad. I love being there for you and the kids. And I, I love our family. Oh, I love you too. But um, there's something that I need to tell you. Every, like, every week I go back and forth whether I really want to be with you or not, and I stay because of the kids. And um, I would rather just, like, be on my own and be single and do my own thing. I don't 
don't understand how you could do this to me. I, I, I do everything I can. I work as hard as I can to give you and the kids everything. I put you guys first with everything. You do. You try really hard. You try too hard. Sometimes I think you're a vagina. I, mean, I, I try to tell you. You told me you loved me. You said you wanted to make things work. We've been together now, back together now for almost two years. I do love you, and I like you, but I'm not in love with you. I don't know. I don't know what I did to you. It's nothing you did. It's just I'm happier by myself. I don't like having sex with you. I try to avoid it, and we just do it because I feel obligated, because I'm your wife. It grosses me out. I gross you out? Yeah. And, I mean... That sounds pretty cruel. Well, I try to, like, tell him nicely, but he's very, like, in love. So, and, I mean, every night I sleep on the couch, you sleep in the bed, or I sleep in the bed and you sleep on the couch. What, what can I do to make this work? It's nothing you're doing wrong. It's just I want to be by myself. I want to be on my own. I want to do my own thing. I don't want to be with you. But I want, I want you there for the kids. I want to co-parent. You know, I want you to be in their lives. And you want to leave the state again? I want to move to Indiana. But I want you to be there. Like I want to live in different houses, but I still want you to have a relationship with the kids and be my friend. <laughs> Just want to see other people, or? Um, I have been seeing someone else. Oh! Oh, shh. Who? You know, um, our friend Danny. Oh. My friend Danny? Oh. Yeah. Shh. You said you'd never cheat on me. I'm sorry. I'm okay with that. I, I, I still love you, and I, I just want to be there for you and the kids. I want our family. You can, you can be there for us without us being together. I want what we had. We, we don't have anything. We have the kids. If you want two totally different things in life. How, how are we going to tell the kids? How, how That's could why I, I stay. How, how could I look at the kids and just say, sorry, your mom doesn't love me anymore? It happens all the time. Like, you could still be there for them and see them. <laughs> you don't you think, do things you don't think that I've had thoughts of uh, leaving you before? I, I have, but I, I stuck around. I, I'll do anything. Uh, I said, for better or worse in our vows. I said, I'd do anything in the world for you. Our vows were a mistake. We rushed into it. Like, it's, it's what I thought I wanted, but it's not what I want. Here's Danny. I slept with my wife. Man, this ain't about you, dude. That's my wife. How could you say that's not about you me? You was my friend, man. I ain't seen you in like six months, man. You cut me out for her, dog. I don't know nothing about this, man. We was having fun. That's it. Fun. Oh. I, uh, fun? Fun. 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 It's not just having sex with some girl at a bar. That's hey, my wife. Me, that's man. the mother of me. my kids. According to her, man, you ain't nothing. Let me hear it. Ding, ding. Wait. Man, every time, dude, every time I work at the apartments, man, I'm the maintenance man. Every time you guys break up for the last six months, man, I've changed the lock three times, bro. Three times I've come and changed the locks on her door. Oh. 
Who's been there? Me. She don't even know you, bro. She don't want to be with you. She said, why, why does she even marry you? All right, I'm hearing this. You ain't hearing this. I am. I have to change the locks. What do I do? I get, and I hear this. Man, I'm going to have fun in life. I got an opportunity. Not, I took it. Not with my family. Ding, ding! <laughs> All right. So, does it kind of concern you that they do have a family and you're kind of the... I want to have fun, Jerry. Yeah. I'm a good guy. I'm not a homewrecker. But whenever an opportunity presents itself to me, we'll take it. And do you want to be with her? No, I don't want to be with her. Don't want to be with her. <laughs> what about that? I felt like we had something. I didn't uh, think it was just sex. You know what we had? We had sex. That was it. We had sex. But I can tell you. In a anything. month, maybe three times. That's it. Solid. Nothing else. No more to it. I feel like I could be myself around you, and I feel like it was going somewhere. Look, I don't want you calling me no more. I don't want you texting to me no more. You have got way too much baggage for me. I can't pack that around all of my life. No. Not me. Ain't happening. No. My kids ain't baggage. So, okay, so there's nothing going on here. You, nothing. You, you don't want to be with no. her. But he's saying, so what's going to happen? You still want to be with her, but she's saying she has no interest. I love you. I'm not in love with you. The tattoo on my pinky means forever. I know there's some love in there still. I want to be friends. I'm get along. I don't want to fight. That ain't good enough for me. We'll be back. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.